What's up, world? GDPR has now been in effect for over four years, and the e-commerce space is getting used to the new regulations. After all, failing to live up to the rules can result in a fine of up to 4% of the company's annual turnover, which is a huge impact. And because of this, it's incredibly important that privacy and healthy data management is on your agenda. As an external service provider that handles sensitive customer data, it's always been very important to us to make it easy for you as an e-commerce business to support the need for growing privacy-related features. And in this video, I'll show you just how we do that. In this video, I'll start with a brief summary of exactly what GDPR means for e-commerce businesses. I'll explain the implications of this when using automation tools. And lastly, I'll show you just how easy it is to stay GDPR compliant when using Clerk.io. So first of all, what is GDPR? It's short for General Data Protection Regulation. Catchy, right? Not really. And that's why most people just call it GDPR. To summarize, it's an EU-regulated set of rules that define how companies must handle sensitive user data, which can be names, email addresses, gender, browsing behavior, and basically everything else that can identify users on the internet. These rules are meant to give end users unprecedented insight and control over the data that companies hold on them, which means that you, as an e-commerce company, must be able to send a full report and delete all data points you have on a customer if they request it. Further, companies must be able to prove that the data they have is stored in servers that are located in the EU, or if it's outside of the EU, it must be in countries with an adequate level of data protection. All of this falls back to you as an e-commerce business as you must be able to support these rules. While this does require processes to change and new processes to be added for e-commerce businesses, it's still a good thing because it's a step in the right direction for getting a more private and secure internet. So let's talk about what this means for external service providers that handle sensitive data like automation tools. First of all, it's important to understand the difference between a data processor and the data controller. Generally, automation tools are data processors, which means that they can track, store, and handle data, but only at the request of the data controller. You as the e-commerce business are the data controller, which means that you decide how the data processor handles the data, including when to track, alter, and delete it. It's also your responsibility as the data controller to make sure that you only share your sensitive data with other trusted sources that are GDPR compliant. In short, this means that any automation tool you use does not actually own any of the data. They simply process it and then hand it back to you in a way that you can use. You still decide everything related to the data that you sent. Ideally, the automation tool that you choose should also be able to show you in a visual way what data has been tracked, so you don't need a developer every time you want to access or delete it. This way, key employees in your business can look up user data and show it to them and delete it if one of your customers should request it. So let's see how Clerk handles all of this. Clerk uses Amazon Server Farm, which is located in Frankfurt, Germany. This means that all of your data is stored securely in an EU-regulated environment. Our platform was built with privacy in mind, which means that we only track a bare minimum of personal data to allow us to show great results. As a baseline, we actually only need to track what was bought at a specific point in time. We do this through order tracking. To personalize results, we then also recommend sending email addresses for these orders so we can identify what a specific customer has previously purchased and recommend them something great based on that. But it's not a requirement. Lastly, we can also track searches and clicks to give you detailed analytics of how your customers interact with your webshop. And further, this is entirely cookie-less. If you want to know more about this, check out this video. We never share any of this data with other stores. Clerk is built in a way so every single store is its own maintained entity, which means that your data is always securely stored in the place where it belongs. We've made a number of features that makes it easy for you to work with this data and handle it in the way that you want. Let me show you how. From within your Clerk.io dashboard, you can access all of the orders that have been tracked by Clerk.io. And clicking on any of these will also show which customer has purchased this order, assuming you track email addresses. Now, if you click on a customer's email address, you can start identifying what data is available on that particular customer. For example, here we have one order and one visitor ID, which is the ID that's used in order to track the clicks and searches on the website itself. 
You can even see the recent activity that this user had, where they placed an order or viewed recommendations for a specific product. But if you want to see the full history of all of it, you can simply click on the visitor ID right here. From here, you have access to all of the data points that have been tracked on this particular customer's visitor ID, including the sale that happened, which recommendations they've seen, any searches they might have done, and so on. Should a customer then ask you to remove all data they have on them, it's as easy as the click of a button. You simply need to go to the customer that asks to be forgotten and click on forget customer in the bottom here. This is going to remove every single data point the clerk has on them, but keep the order, which means that we still know what products were bought together. The order will have no ties to this customer anymore. You also have access to a dedicated GDPR dashboard in your clerk.io backend, which shows you a list of the sub-processors that currently have access to your data and a list of all of your stores, including what data is being tracked on which. The sub-processors here are external systems that are also GDPR compliant that Clerk.io uses for specific features like sending emails. Lastly, as we truly believe in flexibility, we've also made it possible for developers to integrate these functionalities into any system you already have. And we've done that by creating API endpoints for the functionalities. So it means that you have access to both privacy info and privacy forget, which are two endpoints that give you the information of a specific customer simply by providing the email address and the key and private key of your store, or simply forgetting them entirely, just like when you click on the button in the my.clerk.io backend. You can use this in order to integrate it into an existing system you already have, if you have a way of removing customers in an easy way already. And that's it for this video. To summarize, GDPR was made to give users full control of the data that companies hold on them. So it's important for you to make sure that you can easily find, show and delete this data if one of your customers requests it. And finally, when you choose an automation tool, make sure that you find one that makes it easy for you to stay GDPR compliant, because God knows you have enough on your plate already. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.